what's up guys after uh, long days i'm here with another tutorial uh, today's tutorial on uh, after effects and particular so i'm going to make a, a text reveal effect with particular and uh, with an interesting way uh, you will have some tips um, cool tips actually so let's jump in <clears throat> okay so first of all control n for new composition i'm going to make uh, this composition uh, 720p 6 uh, 6 second long and 25 frame uh, rate okay so and uh, now uh, make a text layer control t and uh, that's bring our text layer but uh, we need to click over here and uh, make a uh, layer for the text okay so i'm going to delete that and uh, the tip is uh, tip, oh, press alt ctrl shift p so it will automatically generate a text layer for you so that's a little tip okay <coughs> and uh, let's call it vfx and uh, press y for the pen band tool and make the anchor point over here okay press v and <clears throat> for the move tool move it over here say scale it up press s for the scale parameter okay <clears throat> that looks cool and now now what to do well now select the vfx layer go to layer auto trace and leave the options as it is and just press ok so we have another layer with masks we got three masks here for, and uh, for this project we need three lights because we have three masks so how much masks do you have uh, you need that much light okay <clears throat> in your scene so let's grab three lights press alt ctrl shift l and uh, i'm going to um, make a point light and uh, just oh press ok again ok and uh, we need three lights so duplicate the light two three ok so <clears throat> let's uh, grab our mask path so make sure you are on frame zero and copy the mask path go to the light one press p for the position of this light and uh, select the position over here and just control v for the paste and you see the light is animating automatically okay uh, animating itself okay so and do the same thing with the mask 2 go to mask 2 right here and paste ok 3 copy paste ok <clears throat> so just shut this off I don't need this so you can see light is animating ok <clears throat> so now let's make a new solid control y and make it particles okay and uh, let's take particular tap code particular okay <clears throat> and uh, now we need to <coughs> make sure that our emitter is uh, emitter type is light but uh, if you select the light you can see the, there is some uh, notice okay uh, so we can uh, rename this light uh, with emitter but uh, I'm going to uh, change the particle name uh, particle emitter name actually uh, so go to option and here uh, change the emitter from emitter to lights make sure the l is capital l i g h t light okay this is the second tips and you can see the particles are born from 
uh, <coughs> from the lights okay so go to uh, particle option and uh, make sure velocity is zero velocity random is zero everything is zero and zero and zero and zero and zero, and zero. okay so we got some points okay, okay. just a minute let me see something okay mm, make sure the particle uh, particles uh, make the particles about 2000 okay make it 10x linear so it will smooth it up okay so you can see the issue has issue is no there okay so now let's uh, go to the particular yeah, particular option make the life uh, life is 3 is good enough make the feather 0 size make it 2 probably yes Mm, okay color is your choice i'm going to make this over life and uh, let's choose a full color okay nope nope oh. let's run run up this all right this looks cool okay <coughs> so uh, make it screen no let's make it normal and uh, now go to particle uh, sorry go to physics here and okay first of all go to particle and uh, go to size over life make it fade out and make it smooth and uh, opacity over light make it also fade out and smooth so you can see that trail has been generated okay you can see over here and uh, this this type of effect so that's cool okay let's make the life about two oh, no make it about 2.5 okay this looks cool and uh, just increase the particles about 3000 so looks cool and uh, let's go to physics here and uh, the table is filled okay so let's increase the effect position uh, you can you can play around this well i think i need I, I I don't want to do this okay if you want to then you can but I don't want that I want this just like this okay and uh, mm, let's let's play with setting uh, setting is very cool feature if you want to try this you can you can see this type this 3d kind of thing oh, well, that's very cool i think uh, let's decrease the mm, nominal distance this looks cool uh, go to side with settings uh, colors and make, make the opacity about 2 i think that looks cool uh, maybe 2.3 okay that's good so now what uh, you can add some optical flare and uh, make it look cool and so let's add optical flares okay from video copilot so this wave okay and uh, optical flare okay <coughs> all right so here uh, go to option and uh, i have a preset uh, this point here so i'm going to use this this okay and uh, make it transparent and make it add and uh, <coughs> change the source type 
and the track light so you will have the track lights over here and uh, let's press ctrl shift h to hide these lights so you can see it's it's very cool uh, let's let's animate the brightness uh, make a key here make it zero and uh, go to about this frame make it 100 make it 80 maybe. yeah okay make the scale about 70 maybe 60 okay so and uh, <clears throat> go to particle press t for the opacity make it zero so we don't have that in those points here and uh, okay make it zero and make it hundred percent okay so let's end up that out wow so it looks cool okay Just uh, slide this up. Okay. I think it looks good. Okay. So <clears throat> for those guys uh, who don't have uh, optical flare, so what you can do? Uh, just make a new solid and uh, call it Lux. So and uh, go to your effect and preset. Uh, type Elevex Lux, and um, you can. Uh, I think you do have optical flares. If you don't have, then go for tap code and uh, grab Lux. Okay. So it will automatically uh, takes the light as uh, light source. Okay. Bring down the opacity, density of the lights. Uh, you can make it softer, make it harder, as you like. Okay. Uh, spotlight parameter. Oh, we don't need that. Actually, make it natural. And uh, go to general. Okay, looks cool. Well, you can use that too. And uh, if you have optical flares, you can use that too okay <clears throat> so now mm, opacity make it zero okay go to frame like this and make it hundred percent okay so oh wow. okay now <clears throat> turn on the text here and uh, press T for opacity make it zero and go about here and press yeah. okay press a keyframe with the value of zero and about here okay about here make it hundred percent visible okay so change the color of the text uh, make it kind of purple okay so let's render that up so render is complete let's play wow that's cool okay you need to arrange the time like this and we need to fit those out press T and place a keyframe with the exact value over here and uh, here we need to make it zero so now render this out think that's getting a little faster 
okay make this and these are uh, easy okay these all make it easy is go to the my assistance and uh, easy is and let's see how it looks well render is complete so you can see the complete result here well you can uh, make some more interesting thing more uh, particles and all that and uh, you can let 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 me add some some particles more more particles okay so go to where uh, um go to physics and uh, to here mode here and uh, turbulence field so make some little little tails okay so i think that will looks good um <clears throat> uh, put down the amount of size make it one maybe 0.5 okay and uh, let's uh, scale it down uh, sorry scale it up okay that will be more curly and um, make the effect size maybe two that, that will look good okay effect position a little bit more maybe the life increase the life okay what is it what is it yeah make it three so it will be 3.5 maybe oh now looks very good okay so you can you can play with the colors also and uh, maybe make it a little bit random maybe no uh, make it screen yeah a little brighter thing over here <coughs> okay and uh, maybe one more copy and uh, make the light about four and uh, go to the scale make it a little bit more curly effect version maybe put it down a little bit okay that should look cool and uh, okay so okay let me save this all right <coughs> okay and let's have some background okay call it bg have ramp on it oops uh, okay put it down over here all right and uh, make this a little bit brighter purple maybe and uh, make it a dark purple oops it is dark purple okay make the radial ramp and just putting this over here maybe a little brighter all right <clears throat> so it looks good and uh, let's do one thing mm. let's make <clears throat> let's make the pg 3d and uh, make the position about here scale it up and uh, make have a layer effect on this layer in this layer um, let's have drop shadow so it will look more dramatic yes okay just save it and uh, 
let's render again okay so our render is complete let's see what we have oh, wow that looks cool right okay so we can uh, make the text uh, more dramatic more uh, interesting and all that so but uh, for my case i'm going to leave this this uh, place alt control y for the adjustment layer okay let's have curve make it a little bit contrasted okay and let's animate the background also t get zero and um, let's have hundred percent okay let's see how it looks well i think that looks good uh, maybe a little wiggle you can add f at the first uh first at the first frame and just play around with your ideas and uh, that's it uh, let me add a cool thing letter box yes that's um make it uh, 16 is to 9 and just cover it up so uh, hope you learned something and uh, wait for the next tutorial thanks for watching my tutorial and uh, subscribe me uh, leave comments and all that stops so thanks again goodbye